שלום וברכה מוריי ורבותיי, שלום וברכה. First of all, בעזרת השם, נמיר את הצדיק רבי חיים פינטו הקדוש ברוך הוא. We bless the entire קהילה, the entire קהל. ברכה והצלחה. סייעתא דשמיא גדולה. מלכה דארנו וחטב זיקי אתה. בעזרת השם, הקדוש ברוך הוא. Bless us with the year. אף שפע, ברכה, וישועה. We bet us all our prayers be accepted ברצון. And we bet us we all come together for personal redemption and for the redemption of all כלל עם ישראל. אמן. You know, רבותיי, we think that it's very, very important that everybody in the community truly understand what we will all be Uh, faced with in the upcoming year. We now, but I, each and every one of us in the last year had challenges. We were all tested. Each one in his own way, each one in his own path. And that is really, but I, something that we've been talking about throughout the entire year, the nature of the year of Shemitah. Shemitah in, it, in its core, outside of Eret Yisrael, is a year that all of us must come to a place of understanding that the Kadosh Baruch Hu He is in charge, and he is the one who brings us the Panasa and our livelihood, and uh, that controls all, not in a manner of just belief, but in a, matter, in a matter of putting it into fruition within our lives. In Abutai, now that we are approaching Rosh Hashanah, we are coming to the end of the year of Shemitah. And with that, beginning one of the six years of Chol, we could call it, the, the, the simple years. But in Abutai, this year, the year post Shemitah, It's a very, very important year. It is a year where we will all essentially lock our positions for the upcoming few years until the next Shemitah. And we want to try to explain what really uh, we mean and what is really at stake in this upcoming 12 months that we are all facing. You know, but the Zohar Kadosh talks about this idea of what really is a position of Kavod, a high position, wealth, success, happiness, Um, a strength, whatever it is. Zohar Kadosh says, all those high positions, those valuable positions, they stem from a core. The core of what? The core of these positions being extremely, extremely low in numbers. In what manner? In the manner that if we were all wealthy, equally, nobody is wealthy. If everybody is famous, equally, nobody is famous. If everybody is beautiful, equally, Nobody is beautiful. So what gives us value to those uh, f- um, um, high positions is the fact that only very, very, very few people can sit in those positions. And that's what the Zohar Kadosh calls um, the, the position of kavod, of honor. Where honor is something that is very, very limited, success is something that is very, very limited, and only very, very, very few people could achieve it. And that's what makes it valuable. So... How do we reach to a high levels of success in any field and manner in our life, spiritually even? Zakir says very simple. One person at a high level needs to step down in order for one to step up. Where there is no reality that everybody grow. There is no reality that everybody can reach to the uh, valuable positions. There must be an exchange. One needs to step down in order for one to step up. Now, there may be a lot of people that sit in the position of wealth, fame, beauty, success, strength, but still it doesn't change the fact that it is a limited amount of number, people. So it's like someone told us, in America, there is 107 judges, a lot of judges. But if anyone wants to be a judge, you can't just be a judge. One must step down in order for one to step up. Zohar says, that's what happens when any person reaches to a success, a high level of, uh, of uh, power or anything that, that, uh, that is that is valuable or anything that is good in this world. One must come down in order for another to rise and to replace him. Nata Botai creates big difficulties. And it creates difficulties that if we want to grow in our life, we need to wait for the opportunity that there is space to grow. And this Botai is not just physically, even spiritually. We all know the famous story of Baal Shem Tov and Rabbi Chaim Ben Atav, when Baal Shem Tov wanted to achieve the Ichud, The idea of um, the intention when doing the Tilat Yadayim of Seudah Shilishit, it was Galui Vayadua, it was known that only one person at a time can hold that Yichud, can hold that. One day when Abal Shem Tov, he was doing the Tilat Yadayim and he received the Yichud that he was all his life tried to achieve, he understood that Abichai Ibn Adab passed away. Being that only one individual in the world could have held that lofty position. Once he received it, He knew that the previous holder no longer holds it. 
So in our life, Abu Taim, we need to wait for opportunities. When the positions in the world are no longer um, held so strongly in order to give all of us the chance to rise, to achieve those high um, uh, ranking levels of success. You know, Abu Taim, Zohar says, on the year of Shemitah, the king conquers the fields. Akadosh Baruch goes to the world and he goes to all his people that control his lands and manage his lands and he asks from all of them to return it once back again. After Shemitah, Akadosh Baruch redistributes it. But the Zohar is something very beautiful. It says in the year that follows after the year of Shemitah, Akadosh Baruch comes to all those levels of success, all those chairs of Kavod that we mentioned before. And Hashem tells everybody, get up. Where all the chairs of success must be emptied. All the chairs of success must be let go. Or in other words, all positions are available to everybody. That anybody with the power of Imuna and with the desire to achieve it and with the fight to try to grow could achieve positions that otherwise could never be possible. Abotai, this year is a year that we can all change our lives. We can all rise to levels of success that we never uh, thought were possible and were really not possible until now. Or, God forbid, if we don't get put ourselves together and we don't fight, we can lose that chair, lose that position that we, that we so comfortably sat in. Abutai, this is a year of big change. It is a year of, of big success. It is a year that if we all put our hands together and we put our minds together and we fight in this name of Akadosh Baruch Hu, we can truly achieve it all. And that is really our time. What we want the entire community to hold and to understand. Maybe the world around us can seem that there is chaos. But from chaos, people always rise. All the successful people have something in common. They were able to understand that moments of chaos are opportunity to bigger success. So our time. We're all entering to Russia now. I want everyone to spill their hearts to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to beg HaKadosh Baruch Hu for Mechila, to, to, to make it clear to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that maybe we were not perfect this year, but we want to. And the fact that we want to, we want HaKadosh Baruch Hu to see us where we want to see ourselves. And if we do so, Abutayim, Bezrat Hashem, in the, in the merit of this holy month of Chagim, in the merit of of all the Tzadikim, in the merit of the kindness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, may we all, Bezrat Hashem Abutayim, rise to greatness, achieve those chairs of kavod that we always seek in spiritually, physically, and healthy, in all the manners possible. And whether we will all be that Hashem, prepare ourselves personally and on the level of all Kalam Yisrael for the Biat Mashiach Tzitkem. About that, we are going to pray very hard for the entire Kila, this Rosh Hashanah, that this year will be a year that our Kila will rise. We will be of those who reach to higher levels of greatness and not God forbid Amen. those who fall. Bezat Hashem, we are praying for everybody. We love everybody, and we hope that Bezat Hashem in the upcoming year will be a year that we will lead like the head and not follow Amen. like the tail. Amen.